Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start the Ksuvah stuff Kuf Yud. We are going to begin on the very top of Kuf Yud Amud Aleph by the Mishnah at the very top. Amoti Shtar Choyev Al Chavero. A person who produces a document saying that his friend owes him money. However, Vahala, this borrower, Hoytzi Shemachalo Asasada. He produces a document that he had uh, a field sold to him. So the question is, does that in itself prove then, says Rashi, uh, this shows proof that if in fact I would have owed you money, says Rashi, you wouldn't have sold me the field. You would have just, once I'd given you the money, and you say, okay, you know what? Instead of me giving this field, you owe me this money. So the fact that now I'm the owner of a field must be that I never, or I, I no longer owe you the money. So, in fact, you could say this. If I actually owe you money, that um, you would have been able to collect your debt uh, directly. So again, you could have taken the money for the loan. So therefore, that in itself proves that the fact that now instead I have this field that uh, I don't owe you any money. This Malva actually was very wise that he sold it. So basically, uh, says Rashi, so the truth is, he sold him this land. So now he got money for the for the for the con for the for the land. But now he's able to get the land because this land is worth the amount of the loan. So he did this on purpose in order to be able to get his loan back. So my time to rabbanon. So so my top my time my time to rabbanon. Shabra karadwin. Admon's point is logical that Lachara the lover should be able to say, you would never, why would you have sold me this land? You would never have sold me this land. So Ba'atra Diyav Zuzim Vahadir Kasvi Shtar Kulyam Lo Pligida Masyar Malay Hayokala Pare Shokha Kashimati Lias Sada. You're right. Everyone would agree to the statement of Admon in the situation if first you have to give the money, and then only afterwards it's star. So once you hand them the money, so they would say, Okay, you know what, you, this is the money that you owed me. Forget about the land. So the fact that <coughs> you give me the land, it's proof that I don't owe you the loan anymore. Keep pleading, the whole Machlokas and Mishnahs by Asura is only in the city, the Kasi Shtara. First they write the Shtara, Machir of Ahadiyah, and Zuzi, then they give the money. So Adman Savar, Iboyle, Wemim Ser Moida. So he should have made a notification, this Malve, to the Adim. He should have let him know his intentions that uh, it's in order for him to be able to ultimately take uh, Amashkun to be able to take the field. Our friend's a friend has a friend, his friend's friend has a friend, namely that it's going to get around your motivation. <clears throat> that if you're going to try to do this trick, so he's going to end up realizing he's never going to give you the money for the field because he knows that this is what you're intending to do. So even if you secretly or quietly say it to some witnesses, it, the war is going to get around and he'll never end up giving you this money for this transaction. So that's the Machlokas. Next Mishnah. So now let's say you have two different people, and each one has a star saying that they that the other person owes them money. However, Rashi says, Ruvain al Shimon Vishimon al Ruvain, Star Shahitsi Ruvain Mukdom Vishal Shimon Ukhar. The difference is that the contracts that these these documents of a chov there are of different dates. So same as he said before, that if it's true that I would really have owed you money, Kate said Ata Levim in many. So then why'd you borrow money from me? I owed you money. So the fact that you borrowed money from me, so as soon as I gave you the I could have given you the money, and you'd be like, you know what, this is the money you owe me anyway. So why would you borrow money from me? It must be because I paid back the original loan. Literally, this one pays this. Everyone has to pay whatever's on the chov. 
whatever the document says, says Rashi, even if the loans are exactly the same, which seems strange that you would have to, if I owe you 100 and you owe me 100, so I have to give you $100, and then you have to give the money right back. We don't cancel Bishvil Malva Shehoevu. We don't say, well, they should just cancel each other out, says Rashi. They'll go into each of their estates and take that money. Idmar. So, so, as we said, similar to our Mishnah, that each one collects the respective amounts on the star. So, based on this whole logic, why is it necessary to switch these two items? Rashi says, Let's say there's two different bags of leather, leather sacks, um, and they're basic, and they're equal. So my Yisroin lo, what's the point of you giving it the right hand to the left, the left hand to the right? Well, what's the difference? It's the same thing. So let them both just keep and cancel each other out. Each one keeps whatever they're holding on to. Okay. Now the Kuli Alma, it is the idiots, Benes, Benes, Zibor, Ziboris, Vadi Hafuchi, Matartahu. So if let's say we're talking about that they both have the exact same fields. So one has a high level field, the other one has a high level field. They're exactly the same quality. So then there's no point of switching them. Key plagi, the malchokas of whether you switch or not, is the, the isle lechad bein this, this at least in the Havimina, that one has been this property, lechad ziboris, and one has inferior land. So if Nachman saber zeh gaiva v'zeh gaiva, that you switch it, because Ksavar b'shloi hein shaman, the Lova will say b'shloi hein shaman, Asibal Ziboris v'gavli l'banis, and the Ziboris will collect <coughs> the banis, which is his only field. The havi gabe idis, the asahu v'shokol Ziboris, and since his banis is his best, so he'll take the Ziboris. Look at Rashi. Mash amru chachamim balchay v'banis b'karkois. When we say that, oh, it comes to a loan, you're supposed to pay back the bainness, the middle field, middle quality of a field, Hawaii shaman. It's based on the borrower's property. Shim yeshul Hawaii v'sada, shehi bainness, v'chol adam, let's say it's just, according to the whole world, it's an average field. However, etzlo he idius, but to him, this is his best field. Shishar sedasev garuais himena, all of his fields are worse than this one, in balchayv gaiva himena. So the Balchayv will not be able to collect from it. Because his, even though it's bainness of everyone, but to him that's his idios. And therefore you would collect his, you would take his, you would take his less, uh, or his more inferior quality land. So again, so let's look in this Gemara. Rav Nachman Savar Zeg Gaivav Zeg Gaivav. Why? Savar Bishloi Hen Shaman. Because you evaluate the property whether it's his best, middle, or lowest, based on the borrower. So, so the person who is the owner of the inferior quality fields, the Gavilelebainus, and he'll be able to collect Bainus, which his only field, uh, <coughs> which is, was his only field, the Havigabe Idius, because to him, um, his Bainus field is, was his best field. So to him, that's considered to be like idiots. So something below it is bainanus. That's why he gets the bainanus. The Asahu and this other guy, Vishoko Zibaris, he'll take the lowest since his bainanus is his best. Okay. He says, there's no need to do this exchange. You evaluate the property not by the lova, but rather based on what the reality is. This is a middle field or not a middle field. So in this situation, uh, everyone uh, keeps what they have. Okay. So, so, kiyasi ahu bainanis dinafshi So he says at the end, um, so let's look at Rashi. 
Mar Saber Bishloy He Shaman, Vlav Afuchi Matartahu, um, let's see, Vrav Shi, Osa Ahu Vishakal Ziboyers. Okay, um, so that is, that's the, the Machlokas, whether it's Bishloy, Bishel Kol Adam, Haim Shaman. Okay, so so Kiyasi Ahu Bainanis, the Navshi Kashakal, Rav Nachman, my Chazis, Yossi Bal Ziboyers Beresha. Why should the Baal Zibiris, the person who has the lower quality field, why should he come to Reisha? And then all of a sudden he's going to take the Bainanus property, right? He'll take the Bainanus property first. And therefore all of a sudden now his Bainanus will be the idius, And then his, his lowest field is now ba is Bainanus. So it makes sense. Therefore that you, the second person will take his most inferior quality which, land, which is considered to be Bainanus in comparison to the idiots, the, why would you say that? So maybe you should say the way they're around. Maybe the Balbanus should come first. He takes this other guy's worst fields. And then he'll just give his Ziboris right back to him. Right? Because if all this person has is Bainus, the other person only has Ziboris. So then let's say all of a sudden now the, the Bainus guy takes the Ziboris, the worst field. So now his best field is the Bainus field, which now becomes Idius, in comparison to the Zibaris field of his, becomes like Bainus. So you would be giving back the Zibaris anyway. The only way it would be some type of a different exchange is if the starting point is the Zibaris guy gives his field, uh, takes the Bainus, right? And therefore, because of that, that's how the, his Zibaris land will be upgraded and then the, then the other guy will take the Zibaris. but And therefore he ended up profiting because he ended up getting better quality field. But if it's the other way around, it's not going to make any difference. So we're talking about a situation <coughs> where the other person came and claimed it. So But when they actually come to collect, they're coming together. In Lachaira, they can come at any time. You can say who, who goes first. If again, if the one who has the Bainus field goes first, so then there's no difference. He'll take the Zibaris field and then he'll give it right back. El Isle Bainus. What the case is like this. One person has high quality land and middle land. The Isle Lachad Zibaris. And the other one has low quality land. So Mar Savar Bishlohin Shaman one says says Rashi, In this situation, there is a difference. Why? Because the Mamarashach, Ika Ravcha will bal Ziboris. Ziboris is still going to gain out. Why? If let's say his friend goes first and he takes his Ziboris land, right? Now all of a sudden, this other guy who first he only had idiots. And Bainus, now if he takes the guy who only has Ziboris, he's now going to have Ziboris land as well, have Edis, Bainus, and Ziboris. And then, of course, as we know, when it comes to a Balchai, so he would collect the Bainus. Now it's the other way around. Let's see if the Ziboris guy collect first. The Gavi Bainus, he would collect the Bainus because there's Edis and Bainus, so he'll collect the Bainus. So then all of a sudden, the Bainus. He has Bainus and Idius, which gets upgraded to him. Bainus is his best, that's Idius. And the Ziboris is Bainus. So he'll end up giving back Ziboris. So he'll take Bainus, Mamarashach, and he'll give it back this give back Ziboris. Having gone with Idius, the Gavu Khabri Ziboris. Okay. So Marasabi Bishol Bishol Hain Shaman. Marasabi Bishol Koladam Hain Shaman. Says no, you evaluate the the Matsyas, and therefore the the Matsyas is that you it'll end up being the exact same thing. There's no point. Okay. Uh, so how do we understand that? So the our is talking about So we said that uh, one uh, lent it for and the other one was Lachamish. One on for ten and one for five, says Rashi. Uh, the Hamtana. So one is for five years, one is for ten years. So therefore, because of that difference in time, there is a distinction in the in the loan, 
Okay. Uh, so that's one possible answer. Uh, fine. So hey, Chidami, what exactly does this mean? One for one for five years, one for ten years. So hey, Chidami, Marishal the Esther Vishenu Lachamesh. If let's say the first person was a ten year old and the second one was for five, so Bahal Lema Admon Ilo Haisa Chayv Lachal Ketsa Dato Loiv Many. How could he say this case of oh, you know what? If it's true that the that uh, you would never have given me this loan, but Halu Mata Zimne. So it's still possible that I lent you thousand dollars for 10 years and then you come up to me a few years later and uh, i come to you and say you know what i need to borrow money from you i but you're the lender so why are you borrowing money because the loan isn't due yet so it's possible that i i need money now i can't wait until the maturity date of this document if the time came that he's supposed to get the loan his money anyway right now so my time to rebuttal why would the Rabbanon say that anything other than this is a clear-cut proof? It must be you got paid. The Idolomat the Zimne, if the time hasn't come again, you can say the same thing. Hello, the Zimne. My time of the Admoin. You can ask again the question on Admoin. Why would he say that uh, this is a proof? Maybe it's just because the loan didn't take place yet. The loan hasn't matured. So therefore, he borrowed money back from you. So, Tzricha di Asabahu Yoyma. So it's actually talking about a situation that it was on that day. The loan was that day. To Mishalom Chamesh, that it was going to be completed. Now, Marsavar, Avid Inish, the Yazif, Yoyme. Some people will take basically a one day loan to borrow money, even though they know they're going to uh, get money directly back from you um, the next day. So the question is would a person wait a day to collect the loan due? Rather than borrow money, so and therefore the question is, would it prove if Shimon had already paid the first loan, or maybe not? Maybe a person would not. So the question is because maybe he actually he urgently needed the money today, and he couldn't even wait for the the loan to mature today, so he needed to borrow money. So therefore, it's not necessarily a raya that the the other loan was already paid off. It could be just he needed the money, right? And he, he would borrow even for that one time. So, fine. So, that's the, the way of looking at it. Rami Barachama Oimer, Hacha Biyasmi Askinon. Here we're talking about a situation of with Yisayimim. So, what is that uh, referring to? So, as Rashi says, Shemes Echmehen, one of these two people that had this star died. By Yisayimim Bayim. So, his children are coming. But Toivim, and they're making a claim, Vainlehem Karka, they don't have any land. Shehi, uh, Shekeneg them, Gaiva Staro Amehen, the Lemishabdi Metaltli, the Yasmul Balchayv. So that's what's happening over here. The Yas, it was talking about the Yasmi Migvagavi. So, one second. So, Hacha be Yasmi Askinen. The Yasmi Migvagavi, Agbuyu Lemagvinon, Minaihu. So they can collect, but you're not collecting from them. I have a Zeg Goiva Zeg Goiva Katani, which is, sounds like that you collect from each other. No Zeg Goiva, so the Yusayimim can collect, however, the Zeroy League voice. This, they're really fit to collect, however, ain't why, because there's no Karka that the Yusayimim don't have any Karka. Omarava, Shtay Chuos Bedavar, Chada the Zeg Goiva Zeg Goiva Katani. Doesn't say that they're fit, it says directly that you can collect. But oh, and another problem is Lagbihu. Uh, let them pay up the land. Uh, and then collect from them. If you have your son, they collect land for the obligation of their father. So the Balchayv can go and take it back. They can take it back from them. So Kasha. I have a look at the Isla who the Yasmi Zibaris. Why don't we say the case is the Semim have the Zibaris property? The Isla who did they, it is who bainus. The Yazi Yasmi Gobu bainus, who magvile Zibaris. The Inami Michel Koladam Hain Shaman, Ha Ain Nefraim, and next to the Semim El Mizibaris. We don't collect from the the Semim except from Zibaris. So you should be able to use that case. So Ha Animile Hechadoi Tofas. That's where he didn't grab onto the bainus. Over here, since he grabbed onto it, he already grabbed onto it. Okay, let's look at a couple of questions. 
Question number 13. What's the whole point of just doing this exchange? So, I can plead you, might plead you. So, this is what this is the correct answer, and I'll share you with what I wrote eight years, seven and a half years ago. Okay, going to easily lachad idisubenus. One person owns high and middle land. The idach ziboris owns the worst. So, Rav Nachman b'shalhein. Shoimin, so as we said that we go buster the loiva, so therefore because we go buster the loiva, Mamanashach Ika Ravcha Lobal Zibaris. The Zibaris is gonna profit, so basically the Bal Zibaris will give up his Zibaris. And the Bainness guy who owns the Eastern Bainness will give up his Bainness property. No, we go buster the general um world's view of land. And therefore, it doesn't make any difference. It's just going to be an even exchange. So this is what I wrote for uh, TA4, everything in English. One has fields of idius and baneness, and the other has the Boris field. If we are shaman based on the oilum, so there's no chiluk. But if we evaluate based on the individual landowner, there will be a chiluk as when he takes baneness field, he only gives back Zibarvis field. Okay, that's the right answer. Beautiful. Okay, let's see the next Mishnah. Okay. Shol Shiratzos and Nesuin. There's three lands when it comes to marriage. Says Rashi, She'im Nasa Ish of Achsmehen. If you marry a woman in one of those proper places, you can't force a woman, your wife, to move to another place. So, and the three are Yehuda, Eber, Hayard, and Megalil. So, if she lives, she's from one of these places, that's it. So, you can't force her to go somewhere else. And you cannot, a husband can't force his wife to move from one state to the next. Mikrach, Krach. Um, and Rashi says, Krach is a uh, Godol Meir, bigger than a city. However, from that land itself, you could go from one city to the next and from one uh, Krach uh, to another. Okay. So Rashi says, again, Krach Godol Meir, Bu Makam Shvakim. So there's a lot of uh, shops, there's a lot of marketplaces there. Okay. So. That is uh, allowed. However, we continue to kuf yud amid beis of a lo meir la krach, lo mekrach la ear. Not from a city to a krach, and not a krach to a city. Okay? And the Gemara is going to explain the, the whole reason behind all this. Motsiyan minove hara, le nove hayafe. You could force your wife to leave a dwelling place which is not nice to a nicer one. Of a lo minove yafe, le nove ra. But like not from like a neighborhood which is nice uh, uh, to a one which is not as nice. Fascinating that you can't even force her to go to a nicer neighborhood. Because the going to a nicer place is testing to the body. So what does that mean? Rashi says. As a boydik as a guf, lamishaba min navira, uh, umitaych kach, chaloyim boyim olav. Illnesses can take place. So maybe the word boydik, boydik really means to examine. Maybe if you go to a nicer place, people start looking at you and examining you. So they start examining your life, and there's more like an eye in horror there. So perhaps that's another explanation. The bishlam of Makrach ear, I can understand going from Makrach to a smaller city. The krach shchichi kol mili, beir lo shchichi kol mili. The krach is like Manhattan. There's a, a there's a nightlife. There's everything there. So to go to a place which is uh, like a smaller, it makes sense. Um, uh, fine. Uh, so therefore, beir lo shchichi kol mili. El beir lo krach my taima. It sounds great. You know, you get to go to the big life. So Messiah Rabbi Yosi Barchanina, Rabbi Yosi Barchanina, Menayin Sheyeshivas Karachim Kasha. 
How do you know living in these big metropolitan areas is not so easy? That Hashem uh, will bless the nation, all the people. And those willing to dwell in Yerushalayim. So what does that mean? It almost gives the impression um, the difficulty of living in a in a large in a large city. So that almost like Hashem has to bless them. It's question fourteen. So Okay, very interesting. Weiter. So my baidik, what does it mean being invested in this notion of being checked? That when it comes to the changing of her um, physical cycles, that is the beginning of sick, stomach sicknesses. Kasub Sefer Ben Sira, it says, and it's called Mishle, all the days of the poor are bad. What do you mean? They at least have that. They at least have that. So the fact that they eat so poorly and on Shabbos Yom they eat very good food that actually hurts the stomach. Ben Sira Oimer Av Leilois Gagim. Also, when it comes to the nighttime, the lowering of roofs, Gagai Umarim Harim Karmai, and the heights of the mountains, Mimter Gagim Gagai, the water drips to his roof. Or may offer karma lekromim, and the wind blows his fertilization down to a lower place. Next Mishnah: Hakoyel malan Eretz Yisrael. Everyone is malat Eretz Yisrael. So Rashi says, as kol bnei beisai, anyone in the house, adam kaifel alois leashavim Yerushalayim. If anyone says, I want to, we want to move to Yerushalayim, that's it. You got to listen to them. That's what you. That's what you have to do. This is going to be TB uh, five. TB5. So if someone wants to go to Eretz Yisrael, that's it. Which means that if you want to leave Eretz Yisrael, not, you can't just come up with any reason. It has to be a very good reason. We'll see maybe if there's what the reasons are. But generally you can't uh, compel your family to leave Israel. Also when it comes to Yerushalayim, if you're already living in Eretz Yisrael, going to Yerushalayim you could compel them to move there. Which almost sounds a little bit against the ra- the apostate that we just said um, of the Yavarcho Am of Isnad Moshev as Yerushalayim, which is a krach. Okay. Maybe that's, it, it's, a, it's a difficulty, but maybe Yerushalayim is the exception of all of every krach, which is what we're saying here. Kol mal Yerushalayim and a kol moitzin. You can't just leave. Echanoshim, Echanoshim. Doesn't make a difference. It's not men saying this to the wife. Um, also, if a, wo- a woman could force her husband to go to Eretz Yisrael and to live there, and if not, says Rashi, eating Suba. She can demand her Suba. Nasi Ishim Eretz Yisrael. Let's say you marry a woman in Israel. Vigirsha be Eretz Yisrael. And she gets divorced also there. So obviously, Nasi Lama Moyes Eretz Yisrael. Obviously, since that everything took place, the Suba was written there. The, that you will get. So therefore, certainly, you're going to pay based on the uh, weak currency in Eretz Yisrael. Nasi Ish of Eretz Yisrael, if you married a woman in Israel, which is where the Ksuba was written, V'girsha Pekaputkia, so Nasi Lama Mois Eretz Yisrael. We say, we go bust the weaker currency of where they got married. However, Nasi Ish of Kaputkia, V'girsha Eretz Yisrael, Nasi Lama Mois Eretz Yisrael. So the din is, who is a kind of that we always go more lenient uh, when it comes to Aksuba. We're going to see the reason is because it's Durabanan. You should give the the higher currency. Obviously, again, if let's say that's where you lit, that's where you got married, that's where uh, the divorce is taking place, so then certainly you go, because the, you never left, of course, use that currency. It seems to be double portion. When it says... Uh, anyone can force you to move up to Israel. What is that? Even slaves. Says Rashi. So if the Eved Ivri wants to go there to Israel, so 
al karcho. Basically, he can force you to go. Oman de tani avadim behedik. Whoever said avadim behedya is explicit. Lesui ma lesui min nava hayafil and nava hara. It's talking about going from a, a higher quality place to a lower quality place in Eretz Yisrael. That even though you're going to a lower quality place, maybe that's physically the neighborhood, but to go to Yerushalayim is a higher level. About leaving. If you have an Evan that ran out to Chutzaretz, the master can say, Zavne, I'm going to sell him Hacha here in Eretz Yisrael, Vazil, Mishum Yeshivas Eretz Yisrael. Hakol mal in Yerushalayim asui mai. So that's when asui menava hayaf hayaf ra. So as we mentioned before, even if you're going to not just Eretz Yisrael but also Yerushalayim, the neighborhood is not as nice, but still you can go. You, you, you can force them. Then hakol ma'itzin la asui mai asui afil menava ra menava hayaf. Even if you're going to go to a nicer area in, outside of Yerushalayim, you can't be forced. To, to go to even a more beautiful neighborhood outside of your shrine. But I did the Tanda Rejshain Moitzian, Tanda Seven Ami and Moitzian. Tanda Banan. Who Oimer Lalois? So the whole question of making Aliyah. So the man says, let's go to Israel. But he Omer Shulo Lalois. And she says, no. So Kaipan is a So you got to listen to the guy. The Imlav takes a book Suba. If she doesn't listen, then they can get divorced based on that, and he doesn't have to give her a Suba. What if he Omer Lalois? She wants to go to Israel. But who am I And he says, I don't. So Kaifanos Lalois. Again, we forced to go up. The Imlav Yer Tzvi Ting Suba. He Omeris Lotzes for who am I Shulotzes? She says, Let's get out of Israel. And he says, No, I want to stay. Kaifanos Shulotzes. They can force her that she has to stay. The Imlav Tates Lok Suba. Who am I Lotzes? Let's say he wants to to leave Eretz Israel. He Omeris Shulotzes. She doesn't want to. Kaifanos Shulotzes. So therefore, it doesn't matter if it's a woman, man or a woman, it's depending on the place. And therefore, um, we can basically compel someone to move there, but you cannot compel someone to move out. First of all, said that if you marry someone in Eretz Yisrael, which had the lower currency, and then she got divorced in Kaputkia, which means we go bust her the weaker currency. Alma Basser Shibuda Azlina. We go based on where the obligation started, which was in Eretz Israel. So you must say for Nasi Yishiva Kaput give a Gersh Eretz Israel, Nice Lob Mamas Eretz Israel, Alma Basser Guvaina Azlina. We go Basser where the connection is, where the collection is. So the question is, uh, how how do we understand this? Do we go Basser where the where the obligation started or where the collection is? So Marava Mikulik Suba Shanukan. Ksavr Ksuba the Rabbanon. Ksuba is the Rabbanon, and therefore that's why we're lenient on either way, uh, whatever has the weaker currency. Or Shemir Gamaliel, Laimir says, no, no, it's not the most kaput, because Ksavr Ksuba the Raisa. So that's totally in the Machok, because whether Ksuba is the Rabbanon or the Raisa, of where you would collect the money from. Tan Rabbanon. Hamotzi Shtar Chav El Chavero. Let's say you have this document that says your friend owes you money. Kosu Boi Bavel. If it says the word Bavel on it, Magbehu Mimois Bavel. Then obviously you collect from that money. Kosovo Eretz Israel. If it says Eretz Israel, then Magbehu Mimois Eretz Israel. Then use that. What if Kosovo Stam? What if it doesn't mention the location? So Hoitzi, Hoitziam Bi Bavel. Let's say it came out in Bavel, Magbehu Mimois Bavel. Hoitzi Ub Eretz Israel. Let's say it came out in Eretz Israel, so Magbehu Mimois Eretz Israel. Kosovo, let's say it's written on it, Kesev Stam, 100 silver coins. So Mashi Yirtza Loiva uh Magvehu Mashi Enkin Maksuva. So the Loiva what he wants to borrow he collects and what is not that's not the same thing by Maksuva. So I hey, what is that talking about? So I'm a Mishashi Arasha. Lafuke Midrashim Magmudi Yar Maksuva de Raisa. Okay. See if there's a Rashi on this. Kosovo Kesev Stam, Mea Kesev Lopirish, Im Sloim, Im Dinarim, Im Pudyonim. So, whatever he wants, Vafil Isurin, he can even give an Isurin, it's not a problem. So, Kosovo Kesev Stam, Mashir Tsaloivim Gaveo, Savema Nascha, maybe he's referring to a bar of silver. 
Maybe that's what it's talking about. So Rabbi Lezer Ksibbe Matbeya. It says a coin. So it's not a bar of, gold, bar of silver. So of Ema Prite. Maybe it's just a, a copper coin. Omar Omar Papa Prite de Kaspa Lo Abdi Inchi. A person, uh, Prite de Kaspa, a person does not make. Says Rashi, the timer sheet and loin the chaisha, so Kesev Shabamana Prutais, just not coin. We don't make coins like that. Turn about it. I am Yadu Adam Eretz Israel. A person should always live in Israel. I feel the air Sharub of the Chalabim. Even if there's a majority of non Jews there. Vial Yadu Bechotzar to feel the air Sharub in Israel. Better than to live in outside of Israel where the majority, even if the majority of people are Jews. Shakoa Dar Eretz Israel, Daimon Kimisha Shalal Ka. Anyone who lives in Israel. It's comparable like he has a god. It's like you don't have a god. If you don't live in Israel, it's like you don't have a god. It's like you worship idols. Because he chased me away on this day. What's he saying? He's telling to go worship idols. And that's the tremendous message of the power of being making Aliyah that that is uh, considered like you have Eloka, a connection to God. Not come.